And if you go into your if you go into your um, tax editor, you notice a few more folders. So node modules, we know what that does. We have a distribution folder and a cache folder. So the dot cache folder is um, if you were to restart the server, um, a pass will look at the cache and see what's already done and ignore what's already done and just change what needs to be done. So that's the uh, hot module replacement in place. And distribution, if you look inside the distribution folder, you'll see your HTML code and also the bundled JavaScript and you'll notice it's not compressed. So although it's distribution, it's not production ready. So let's go ahead and change um, the package.json file to prepare a, a, a script for making a um, production, production ready code. So let's create a new line, call it build. And here we're going to put parcel build index.html. And what we're going to do is build it without the need for a cache because in my opinion, I don't think we need to um, have a cache for production build. So I'm going to do dash dash no dash cache. And then if we go into our terminal, stop the server from running, and then do npm run build. Um, okay. I've got parcel incorrectly. Try that again. Cool. And once that's done, um, sorry, it'll build our production ready code, compress HTML, compress JavaScript, and it's ready for you to put onto your server. All right, so that was super quick, it was super simple. Let's move on to the next step of having multiple components and having styles. Let's go into our terminal um, and make a components folder, components, and also a styles folder. What we're going to do is cd into components and um, create a file called app.csx and then cd back into the root. Let's go into app.tsx and put in some, oh, I've made a mistake. All right, components should actually be in source. I should just start, so I'll drag that back in really quickly. Okay, so in app.tsx, let's put in some standard um, React boilerplate. What I'm going to do here again is go back to the article. So this will be the second article and copy and paste the React boilerplate stuff. So in this case, we're going to get this stuff from here. I'm going to have links to all these articles in the description, uh, just in case you need it. And this is essentially um, creating a H1 with hello, but having um, passing the property name. I also explain what any and any does here, but for this video, I'm not going to. So now that's done, let's import it. Okay, and now let's change this to app. And let's give it a name. Cool. All right, so if everything works, let's format the code. Um, as long as everything works, let's run npm start. Hopefully we get no errors. Cool. That all worked. Let's go into our browser and refresh. And something went wrong. Okay, looks like I forgot to close um, this element. So I'll do a space slash to close it. Now if I save and go back to the browser, as you can see, it all works. There's no need to add any um, resolve for the extensions. Uh, it just picked it up and it figured everything out on its own. One final thing to do. Um, Firstly, I'm not a huge fan of port 123, I don't know about you, so what I'm going to do is change it to 3000, because that's what I'm used to. And that's really simple to do. All you have to do is do a dash p, 3123. And then if I go back to the terminal, stop the server and run it again. You'll see the port will change to 3000. I can go into the browser and change it here. All right, now let's add some styles. Let's create a file called style.scss. And once again, I'm going to jump to my article from the browser and copy and paste the CSS code um, instead of typing it line by line. 
And once again, I'm going to have the link to this in the description. All right, save, go back to the terminal and let's install Node SAS as a dev dependency. I'm going to clear this, npm install node sass. And the last thing we're going to do is go back to our index h no index.tsx and of course we're going to import the style from the styles folder and that's it let's get back to our terminal run the server and as you can see everything works fine the styles applied so this is a quick way to get React, TypeScript, um, and styles set, set up without the use of Webpack, without the use of loaders, without the use of any configuration files. Um, one thing you don't get with this is that, as you can see in, um, sorry, not the source, as you can see in the inspect element, you don't get any access to source maps, so we can't, I can't access the app.tsx, um, just the bundled files. And currently, that isn't supported in this version of Parcel, um, but hopefully in the future, they'll add it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned something, and um, like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the future.